Happy 2020 guys, here with Catch Cam Nets. Just wanted to do a little bag installation for you today. A really cool feature that Catch Cam Nets offers that you should definitely take advantage of is the ability to change and purchase separate bags for your net. Um, one really cool thing about this is we offer the ability to have a deep bag, nice and deep, or a shallow bag. Now you can see there's a huge fish in this one. This fish barely fit in this. This is a huge 17 inch trophy West Virginia smallmouth. Love them. This might go better in the deeper bag. So a really good option. Look how smooth that went in. That was so perfect. I'd get a tip from that one. These are your native series nets. Okay. Installing these is very easy. It can be complicated if you let it be complicated, but that's why we're making this video is to show you how actual easy this is. You just have to know a couple things ahead of time. So here's my bag. There is no starting point on this bag. It is universal. It is the same all the way around, um, just inside and then outside of the bag. That's all you really need to know for your installation purposes. Bo and I have this down to a fine science. If you're replacing the bag on a native series, or a trout series net, it's seven times. So you go one way seven, and then you flip flop and you go the other seven. Now if you're using or switching on the pig series, this is the trout pig series, you are going to go eight times. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we'll start off, got my net, I'm a rim, I'm a net. I'm gonna start off on the inside. So I'm gonna take the inside of the loop, go on. Inside of the loop, go on. Inside of the loop, go on. As I put these on, I slide them up. Don't bunch it. If you bunch it, you'll just make life really hard on yourself. And fishing is not supposed to be hard on yourself. It's supposed to elevate your soul and make you feel good about life. So we don't want to do anything that will jeopardize that. Remember I said seven times? Six or seven. All right. So you slide all these up. When you put them on, they'll be nice and uniform. They'll all be slanted one way, the same way. So now I'm going to flip flop it. Go on the same side. I'm just going to, instead of going on the inside, I'm going to put it through the outside of the loop. Now it's going to look different. Remember, just slide these on as you go up. Feel free to use a lubricant or something to help these slide easier if that makes your life easier. But don't use WD-40. Use dishwashing liquid or something that can come off and not damage the environment. And if you're going to eat trout, you really don't want them covered in WD-40. That might not taste that good. Another thing too is if you're putting this on and you're seeing that you're having to stretch it a lot, you have to really stretch those loops to get them through the rim, work your bag a little better. You don't want to stretch. These are very tough catch and release nets, but you don't want to have to stretch them. You see, I can just very easily slide that on there. No problems at all. The hardest thing about installing these is just working the net on around the rim. That's the most difficult part. All right, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here. Nitty gritty dirt band. Slide this on around. All right, so that was, I have one more loop left, but I'll show you this before I continue. This is how you know that you've installed these correctly. So I have one more loose loop on the bottom, but you can see how these are going up one way and then they differentiate and go the other way. That's how you know you've installed the bag correctly. No gaps in this. No fish are going to escape. Last loop, you squeeze the rim together and then slide over both of them. 
just like that. Now you can attach this back onto your camera mount piece and you're ready to go.